Hello guys, this is Harvest Hills Homestead. My name is Tim and uh, this is our homestead. My daughter is uh, grooming the horse. We have a horse with a injury. We're not sure what it is. We've made an appointment with the vet. Horses are awesome. We love them. We have two. And uh, they're awesome. We do we're pre, we do love seeing our horse on our pasture. And the the girls, my my wife and my daughter, they ride them uh, weekly, several times. Groom them daily. Feed them daily. But uh, it's a lot of work, but very enjoyable. So this is our garden. We have raised beds. Um, it's kind of the, the end of the growing season right now, at least the summer growing season. So our tomatoes are like at the peak of production. Um, I, I don't get involved a lot with the actual garden. I run a business during the week, full time. Um, this one's probably a little bit overgrown, but this cucumbers didn't do great this year. We, my wife started a new job, a new career in real estate. And uh, it's kind of consumed a lot of our time this summer. And also we had a very long dry spell, like all of July, the end of June, July, the first week of August, we barely got any rain and it was very, very hot. And so the garden struggled really badly. So everything kind of came in late. Um, but I think we're still, we're very proud of what we can do. There's some spices that got eaten up by the bugs, but there's probably a good little head of, um, Coal. We planted the corn way too late, but we have maybe a couple heads of corn. These are all volunteers. We keep finding in the yard volunteer tomatoes. We just plant them. Some okra. Those heads, we're letting them go into seed. Uh, we collected many, 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 many pounds of um, okra. And this is a little window greenhouse. We only use it in the late... Um, in the, in the fall and in the spring for seedlings. In the summer, it gets way too hot in there. And one of the most exciting things for me that I really enjoy deeply, the process, is composting. Now, this is kind of our first setup. Uh, nothing professional, nothing super nice. It works for me. But I have a tractor with a bucket, and we're trying to... I'm building... In my mind, I've been designing a setup. I think I always want to have three bays... Um, one, you kind of let rest, you fill it all the way to the top, stir it a couple times uh, every couple days, and then you kind of let it rest for the last, you know, couple weeks. Um, then you have one that's super active that you, you really stir almost every couple days uh, until it kind of peaks the temperature and then starts coming down. Once it goes down into a stable, um, anywhere between 100 and 120 degrees, then you let it rest. Uh, at least that's how I do it, and we're we're getting very very rich compost. And then you have one, um, yeah, one that you take compost out that's ready compost that goes right into your garden. One that's active that you're stirring every couple of days, and then one that's like kind of in the still needs attention, still needs to be stirred, but you're kind of starting to let it chill a little bit. That seems to work for me. My tractor bucket is five feet wide, so I'm planning to build a, a three bay. A big composter, but five by five per bay. Uh, we do have the horses that poop a lot, so we collect their manure. We have all the garden that now we're going to be pulling all these greens out and throwing them in the compost. When we clean out the chicken um, coop, we have a lot of compost, a lot of manure from there, in, mixed up with wood chips. And then we have the rabbit tree, which is about 20 rabbits right now, which they produce a ton of... Um, manure and we get free sawdust and uh, mulch from a local mill, a local sawmill. So we add this to um, our composting process. And when I mow, at least when I mow this front section of, of grass, all that grass goes into the composting bin. Homesteading is somewhat of a messy process. <laughs> we try to keep things around our house nice and organized 
But then as you go further away from the house, there's nooks and crannies where there's just, there's resources. I see them as resources. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, little guy. Like back there, there's some lumber and an old fence. I'm not throwing that away because I'll use that. Um, so, yeah, kind of a little update. I'll show you around a couple other projects as I get along the day. Saturday is my homestead day. And due to one of our horses having an injury, um, we have them in the stalls so that we kind of limit their motion. Um, <clears throat> the horse has been running around. We have hills and very uneven, grand, uh, uneven ground. So to heal the injury, we have them in the barn. We built this barn last winter. And it's a little bit of work to keep up with the patties, the poop, but some people see this as poop. I see it as future power to grow in our food. It is amazing how powerful and, and good uh, compost you can make with the uh, manure of horses and rabbits. Rabbit manure is actually really interesting because you can put it right in your garden um, without having to compost it. Horse manure is way too strong. Horse manure will kill, will kill your grass. I mean, will kill your, um, your plants <clears throat> in the garden if you put it right into the beds. So what we do is uh, we compost it. I stir it in with my compost. I stir it in with, um, with all our greens. When I cut the grass, I collect maybe two wheelbarrows of greens. And um, then we mix it in real good. And then we also have pine mulch and straw that has bedding in here. So I'm just picking up some of the patties to make sure they're not standing in their own poop. Keep it nice and clean. And then, because I'm gonna be spreading out some of the um, I'm going to be stirring the compost. I might as well take this wheelbarrow and go we'll make some wonderful, wonderful, rich soil for our garden for the next season of gardening. That is Zeke. We're not sure what happened, but it's, he is limping. So either he got dislocated his hip. We have an appointment with a veterinary, with a vet. He's going to uh, go to the vet here shortly. He's not very happy to be in here because there's fresh grass in the pastures and he's not getting any. Do you need my help, Shay? You're good? That white, those right rings around his eyes, Shay, what is that? They're for the flies. For the flies. And that's desitin or is that a special cream? Mm -hmm. It keeps the flies from their eyes. Okay. All right. So, back to the compost. This is our poop that's going to feed our garden next next season. This is Ethan. Hey, bud. Uh, so, I want to show you something. I cut the grass. How was it? Tuesday after, Tuesday evening. And it was kind of wet. So, I, I raked it up into mounds because I don't have a bagger on my... On my uh, lawnmower yet but uh, I, I raked it up and I mixed it in the wheelbarrow with sawdust and mulch and then I stirred it up with the compost that was already here and this is just a couple days ago right so I mixed the greens half half just about half half the proportions might be slightly off with sawdust and wood mulch and uh, look at that can you see that that's a hundred and sixty four degrees maybe 165 that is hot 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 very hot maybe too hot it's a little past the red so if i put if i open it up now look at that you see that white stuff i can i can literally barely touch this that's how hot it is it's like burning my hand okay i'm gonna open it up ow now literally you see the steam you see the steam all that white stuff is fungal. Ha! Ethan, come here, bud.
Okay. And this is just the top. So the top is like, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't really measure. And it smells kind of like tobacco. It really does. And that's just the very top. The, the deeper you go inside, and that's the nice thing about compost, the bigger the pile you mix it fresh, the bigger the pile, the more thermal mass you create. Ow. <laughs> that's how hot it is. So imagine now we put it on steroids and we put horse manure in it. The good thing about heat is when you add heat, I mean, you don't add any heat. The chemical process of decomposition creates heat. Heat kills off seeds. So of course, when you put throwing weeds in there, hey buddy, hey troop, hey trooper, hey. Hey, good boy. Hi, you excited to see me. You wanna say hello. <laughs> The chemical breakdown of nature's regular process. Now the leaves fall off a tree, grass dies, whatever. It's usually just this thick, right? Just a little layer and that gets eaten up by worms, by fungus. When you get a big pile, the chemical process breaks it down and creates friction and heat and energy. And so if you can control the proportions, you can speed up the process and you get a finished pro pro product in about 30 days. I want you to come see how hot this is. All right, and let me show you the finished pro product. If anybody's interested in gardening, and I'll show you this and you'll, you'll, you're, you'll see right away. Look at this. This is about 40 days old, 40 days. Look how loamy. You know, if you have a garden, your plants will absolutely thrive in this product. Hey bud, I want you to see, this is the chemical natural process of compost. Stick your hand in this hole. Go in there and just dig your hand a little bit in there. How hot is it? Just stick your hand in there just to see. Oh. No, like touch it. It's like steaming. Yeah, move it, oh go a little deeper with your fingers. It's actually hot though. It's actually gonna burn your hand. Yeah, burn Hello. Ooh. So now it's probably too hot, but when the heat is killing seeds, the heat also kills fungus and the heat also kills some of the good bacteria and turns it into anaerobic, which is without air. We need air. We want air. The air breaks it down and the air kind of feeds the oxygen feeds the bacterial process of decomposition. So that's why we want to stir it. I'm going to open up this pallet, remove it, open it all up. Uh, add this horse manure little by little and then sh stack it back and it'll probably it'll cool down a little bit and then it'll peak back up Maybe even a little higher than it was today But this if you keep it high temperature meaning you keep stirring it keep adding oxygen by stirring it and Turning it so like there's the outside if you see the outside here Pretty Is cold. not it's cold and it's not decomposing well you put that in the middle where the really heat the heat is in the moisture and then you end up getting, you see this white stuff? That white, uh, that's fungal. That's fungal growth, like molds and fungus. These are be very beneficial for the garden. You want to have um, a, a product, an end result of a very, you know, you don't want sterile soil for your plants. You want a highly, um, high variety of, natural fungus bacteria um, and all the natural food that nature thrives on so and then this this is what we do when we're done this is the finished product we just throw it right in our garden now it's the end of the season so our garden is not looking that hot but we also we bought soil from a composting place and we were totally not impressed but it was it really looked sterile let me show you because i have still have a pile here and it's good and very loamy, very light, but it, it is so sterile, like I don't think it has any good bacteria in it. This is a pile we had that we bought from a place. And it's like what you buy in a bag. It's pretty loamy, but it has no worms in it. Like when we stir it, we don't see any worms in it. We don't see any life in it. So it's like it's they either made it too hot where everything died. So I don't know. It's an easy process. Use the resources you have, chicken manure, horse manure, mulch, 
kitchen scraps that are not cooked, um, grass clippings from your garden, and you can create amazing soil that you can buy in the stores. Peace. This is Tim from Harvest Hills Homestead. See you later. Alrighty. So we basically stirred, pulled everything out of this pit, just about. And we're kind of evaluating the spots that are too dry, but we moved all of it out, stirred it. And now I have this wheelbarrow of horse poop. I'm gonna to add to it. And I think this is about the last thing I'm gonna to add to this batch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I want it all to be stirred as good as possible. So if you see in here, get you can get a little close up, but these patties here that are white, these this was grass from a few days ago, how broken down it is. But you can also still see some of the pellets from the rabbit tree. You know, and then some of the horse, some horse manure right here. This is the horse manure, the green ones. So, the better mix it is, the faster it will compost. You're gonna throw some twigs in there, some mulch. And then if you see like some of these patches are a little bit too dry, I'll every so often just sprinkle some water on it. Keep it moist. Cause bacteria and molds and fungal growth, they don't want it soaking wet because then you get a patty and then air can't get to it. But you do want some moisture in there. And then occasionally, where is it? Where is it, where'd you go? Occasionally, you end up having a little piece of trash from cleaning up around, here it is. If you notice a piece of trash from cleaning up the, just put it to the side and throw it in the trash. You don't want to be composting plastic chunks. It's, I don't know if you guys can see the steam of the heat that's in there. So I just try to mix it up so we have a very good, like this whole, there's a big old clump here of old horse patty. And if I leave it in there, it's gonna stay pretty clumped up and not break down. So, you know, you don't have to, but you can just speed up the process of compost to have an end product. You can do it in 28 days if you're very, very hands-on. My wife and I, we have a full-time job outside of the homestead. So it's kind of hard. We're trying to always make the best of our time. But uh, you, can, you can technically get all the raw materials and make a big old batch of compost in about 28, 29 days to have a ready to put in the garden compost and uh, if you look on the top of the barn it's starting to rain right now and the rain goes into a barrel and we save we have right there probably about 450 gallons of water that we use for our garden so nature is giving us both the water the compost which feeds the plants the animals which feed us and give us manure to make more compost. We eat the greens, we eat the, <laughs> the reds, we eat the eggs, and we turn it right back all into soil to feed us for next year. And every year this seems to be getting better, meaning the richness of the compost, the healthier your plant, the more resistant to diseases it is, the more resistant to pests it is. And uh, we don't add any chemicals to our process. We don't add antibiotics, antibiotics. We don't use hormones in any of our growing process. It just takes a little bit of sweat, what I call sweat equity. And uh, you're literally sweating. You get exercise, so I don't have to go to the gym either. This is my outdoor gym. You stay healthy, you eat healthy, you're connected to what God gave us, you connect it to nature, building up your antibodies. I mean, look at that. All these bacteria I'm exposing myself to. It's all the, the way God intended things to be. Connected to earth, connected to his nature, growing your own food, being healthy, being active. Well, this is Tim from Harvest Hills Olmstead. See you on the next one. All right, so my son and I, just stirred up 
and added all the compost back in here. Stirred it up, made sure it was nice and moist, so we added some water as we were stirring it up. This side, we cover with cardboard, and why? Because cardboard, first of all, is a carbon, so you can put it in, as long as you take the tape off, the plastic tape, it'll decompose and actually feed uh, your compost. So it's, a, it's one of the carbons. This pile, I probably could stir it, but it's kind of uh, done. So we'll just let it rest for another week or two. It smells amazing. Trooper, no. Chickens are friends, not food. All right, so this batch, I'm just, the cardboard we leave, we don't want the rain to keep adding a lot of moisture and then it chokes out the, uh, the breathing capacity. You want like some water, some moisture in there, but not all that much, not too much. You don't want it to be, and also the rain will wash away the nutrients and uh, the, uh, the bacterial, uh, what's this? This is trash, buddy. Put that onto the side right there in that bucket. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. We're gonna measure the temperature. What do you think it's gonna come in at? It was at 165, 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Now we stirred it, we watered it, we mixed it up and added some horse manure and some wood chips. This is the last we'll add to it. Now we just keep stirring it every four or five days. I'll stir it up and then keep stirring it every, maybe once a week. Uh, if we do it every day, it's even better. I don't have time for that though. So we'll do it every weekend, we'll stir it up and then in probably in a couple of weeks, we'll have ready compost. So Ethan, what do you, th what do you think? I think it's gonna be around 120 or 120. 120, so maybe a drop of 40 degrees? All right. So it's at zero right now. And we'll stick it right in the middle. All the way deep in there. And let's watch it. Hold on. Sorry for all the motion. You don't have to stick it in there too <laughs> that far. Okay. Let's see. Come on. What happened? Did you break it? No. Come on. Something's up. Give me a second. It's not going to go up instantly. Okay. No, but the, I think something's wrong with it. It's going up. Okay, now it is raising. Okay. No, something's wrong with it. It doesn't help. Yeah, the spring is catching on something. <laughs> so I might have to get a new one at some point. Well, so, no, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. So it's not going to work. Until it's hot. No, it's definitely hot. We just don't know, is it going to go any higher than that right now? So it was at 165. Right now, if I tap it, it's not going any any higher than one, what is it, 105? So it's at 105 right now, all right? So that seems to be sitting right there. In about a half an hour, I'll come check it again, and I'll post the next little clip. So right after this, I'm going to give it a half an hour. We'll come back and look at it, see what's going to go on. The only other thing we're going to do now, yeah, it's steady at 105 right now. But remember, all the chemicals are going to, all, all the bacteria is going to start, it got oxygen, it got water, it got stirred up nicely. So now, Ethan, we're going to take this cardboard. We'll leave this one right there. We'll take some of our spare cardboard because it's, it's about to start raining. You see this kind of broke down a little bit, but it's also good because it has some fungal some fungal growth on there. We'll cover it up. What we don't want is the rain to flush everything away. Like the rain to flush away the... Uh... There we go. Doesn't look very great. It's not the prettiest thing, but we're... Did you just drop? Come on now. All right, half an hour. It's 12 o'clock right now. So 12.30, we'll come and check it again. Peace. It's raining. Well, we're gonna go check the composting thing real quick. Let's see. Hey, Ethan, you wanna hold the umbrella? Okay. Let's see. All right. Hi, flowers. It hasn't rained in quite a minute, so we're pretty happy about this. All right. Ethan, you hold the umbrella over my head. All right. So we waited like what, 40 minutes? 
I don't know if this is just not working right. Hold on. Uh, it's not super hot yet. It probably has to get a little bit more time. Let me go right in there deeply. Oh. Yep. I mean, now I'm, now I'm doubting the thermometer. It's like the spring is stuck. Okay. Well, that's, it was at 105 and it went to 125, right? Yeah, that other mark where the red starts is 130. So that would be like 125 in what, like a half an hour, 40 minutes? So in 30 minutes, it went up 20 degrees. So, I would like it in the low reds, like 135, 140 would be ideal for another week or so, just to speed it up real good. All right.